about to find out what is beneath this little white cast here. Anxious, very anxious. I know there's a pin in there. I don't know if it's poking out of the skin. I have no idea what to expect. Ow. Just oh my gosh, that's me. Okay, I'm gonna pull open. I want you to pull out. Okay. Slip that. So, as you know, I'm kind of uh, laid up for the next little bit here. Kind of TBD on how long I'm gonna be laid up for. But it's good because it's January. Well, it's not really good because I really like to ski. But it's still January. And you know, after the holidays, the new year rolls around, it's kind of tough to like get back in the swing of things and things like that. Especially for kids over here back into school. They take that Christmas break and man, just getting them to go back to school, getting back on a regular sleep schedule, it's challenging. I would say the most challenging thing as a parent is getting kids to get excited about learning. So we found this in incredible learning tool, software company, whatever you want to call it, called Sofa Tutor. As you can see next to me, Ava <laughs> is a little stumped maybe at the moment, but she can't get off of this game called Sofa Hero. So this little penguin character pops up on the screen and guides them through different games related to topics. So Ava over here chose the topic of math. She's a bit of a math lover. So if there's any questions generally that we have that are regarding math, they don't come to me, they usually go to Lindsay. So Ava's falling after her mother's footsteps right now. She's playing Sofa Hero, the math version. What level are you on, dear? Uh, three or something. Three or something. Everything on Sofa Tutor is 100% age appropriate. So, depending on your child's level of interest, there's really any different levels of skills that you could acquire here, whether it be science, whether it be math, whether it be geography. So, it's ages kindergarten through six, which is perfect for our little girl over here, and the twins. So, I would say one of the biggest benefits of Sofa Tutor right now for Miss Ava is the fact that it gives her the autonomy to go and look at topics that are actually very relevant to what she's learning in school and learn on her own. Not only do they have Sofa here as an interactive game, they also have hundreds of learning videos as well, followed by activities that she can watch the video and then perform some sort of activity afterwards and track her progress as she learns through these topics. So it gives her the autonomy to do that and us as parents not always have to be helping constantly with homework, allowing our children to be a little bit more self-sufficient, which let's be honest, every parent wants their kids to be a little bit more self-sufficient. So Sofa Tutor has been an incredible tool to help us do that. But it also makes it fun so it doesn't feel like it's learning. It's fun learning, I guess. So guys, I need you to check out the link in the description right now because Sofa Tutor is allowing a 30-day free trial with the link below. So go check this out. If you've got a kid ages kindergarten through six, there's no reason you should not click on this link and just start a free trial. And if you decide to convert that free trial into a full-blown subscription, you're going to get 60% off as well. So go check out the link in the description below. So guys, today's video is a little bit of a mod podge. A compilation. A compilation of the last <laughs> few days. We thought rather than just throwing it at you, you might as well just narrate a little bit of what's happened over the last couple days because it's been a little bit of whirlwind. This contributed to that whirlwind, obviously. And family coming in town. And we're going out of town. So many things going on. So we're gonna narrate this for you because we videoed a lot of what was going on, but we didn't really talk through a lot of it. So first things first, Justin had his follow-up appointment. So let's cut to that and find out what happened there. All right, you guys, I am here at Dr. Williams' office about to find out what is beneath this little white cast here. Anxious, very anxious. I know there's a pin in there. I don't know if it's poking out of the skin. I have no idea what to expect. So we're gonna find out exactly what is inside here. Lindsay's supposed to be here, supposed to meet me here right now. My ribs hurt, little update. My neighbor is a chiropractor, so he's actually been awesome. He taped me up with some KT tape. So that's been really, really helpful to have. This doesn't hurt that much. My thumb hurts quite a bit. And I think that's where he put some sort of pin is down my wrist. Cause again, I think I mentioned the break was worse than they expected. And so he had to put some extra hardware in there, which he did say he'll take out. So I don't know exactly where it is, but I think it's on my thumb. Cause when I try to move it, it really hurts. So anyway, anxious to find out what is about to happen here today. I will definitely video everything. So viewer discretion is advised here. I'm going to take this white thing off. You're going to see stitches. You're going to see who knows what's underneath there. So here we go. look like under there. He's gonna have a suture line and they put dissolvable stitches in, so. Oh, dissolvable, really? Yeah, it's it's like a continuous stitch. It'll be like this and it'll have two ends when it's clear. Nice, okay, cool. Is it black and blue? Where's the pin? So it's gonna be I knew on it was that. right there. Yeah, that's where it is. You feel it? Yeah, I felt it. I can tell your thumb is bruised. It's kind of like restricting my thumb movement. Is it? Yeah. Well, and you're still healing too, so. Yeah, that's true, it's only been less than a week. 
And I'm gonna take some uh, scissors and I'm gonna cut along here. Okay. And he takes the pin out when? Does he take the pin out? The pin um, probably will come out in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Ow! Oh my gosh, that's me. Okay, I'm gonna pull open. I want you to pull out. Okay. Slip that. It's a little bloody. It's a lot of bloody. Feel free. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Are you gonna take my stitches out? Yeah. It's Are you really? Yeah. It's, well, it's just a dissolved with a stitch. Dude, so that rod has got to be right here, isn't it? You put an extra rod in it. Oh, it's a plate and screws. I think you put a little rod in there. You should oh, put the extra. Kid. You're right. Yeah, because of the path. Oh, okay. Right there. You when does that come out? Okay, now that he's not like under anesthesia, will you explain what you did? Because he's not going to remember anything you said. Oh, no. And I need a oh, I read yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I moved everything out of the way and then put a plate, a metal plate that's about that big. It's that wide at the tip. And not oh gosh, that's pretty long. It's pretty big. Yeah, there's five screws there, two screws there, and then there's this pin here. There was a fracture line right here and I had to get that piece out of the way and put this instrument underneath. There was a segment in the central portion of the joint, like it has the cartilage and stuff, mm -hmm. that it just wouldn't reduce with the rest of it. So I actually had to use this fracture to be like a trap door, jack up that other piece, and then put this wire to hold that in position. It looks amazing for what it was. Oh, that's awesome. So it's staying where you want it? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we should get an extra today. Oh yeah, that's I'm right. Sure. All right, people, there you have it. Looks like that part hasn't closed up super well, but there's my wrist. We're gonna take some x-rays right now to make sure it hasn't moved at all, but I think he was pretty pleased with the results. A lot of people say, hey, why don't you have a hard cast on? Well, what's interesting is I actually feel like this recovery is gonna be faster than a traditional hard cast break because when you have a hard cast, it's really to stabilize your bone so it can grow together. Metal put me back together. <laughs> Iron Man. So I feel like I actually will recover a little bit quicker. The doctor, you could tell, we obviously we didn't show all of it, but I kept asking questions like, well, when can I like, you know, squeeze an exercise ball? And he's like, why? Like, just mm -hmm. do, just like chill. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to take it easy. However, I honestly can feel, I mean, my fingers are coming back. I can grip pretty well. Thumbs are a little bit janky. I think the worst part is the pin. The pin comes out, you guys saw, that'll come out in a few weeks, which would be kind of fun. I think but you'll feel a lot better after that. Yeah, all in all, I feel pretty optimistic. I'm trying to stay active as much as I can, riding a bike, whatever it is. But the ribs, man, those just take a little while to heal. It'll still hurt, but getting better though. But next week we are going on a work trip to Mexico. Justin is taking the sales team that had met, made President's Club yep. to Mexico. So we are going really excited about that. And the good news is the doctor said that his scar is healing well enough that he can at least go in the pool while we're there. Cause this is going to be a very different trip for Justin. I mean, we won't be going zip lining with everybody. We won't be going to shell hall with everybody. We're going to be sitting by the pool. It might be a little bit more like my kind of vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, needless to say, I will not be sitting by the pool. I'll be walking around likely because I can't, <laughs> can't sit, still. sit still. You really can't. We're going to try to read a book. But it's going to be fun, though. <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay, so next thing, Turin played a basketball game against the rival school. And I just have to talk about it a little bit because it was one of those games that was ridiculously fun to watch. Yeah, those games have a lot of energy. And it's so fun because it doesn't really matter if one team's a lot better than the other team because it's a rivalry, it's always neck and neck. So this other team has a better record than our team does. And it was neck and neck. And they they actually, I think were down by 12. That's what it was. They were Our team was down by 12. And then all of a sudden we just kept stealing the ball and draining threes. And it was the most exciting thing because at those rivalry games, you've got the whole student section there. The student section was going crazy. I was going crazy. I lost my voice. That just tells you the excitement of the game. So they caught up all 12 points. Like they held the other team and caught up 12 points. All in all, we don't have good news. They ended up losing, but it was one of Still those. Still a very electric game, which is tons of fun. So fun. Can I just tell you, I'm living for these junior high basketball games. And I'm not joking when I say that. <laughs>
So later that day, Ava went to her dress rehearsal, so we'll cut to that. Okay, Ava and I are just waiting in the carpool lane, waiting for our basketball carpool. That is not what do we call it? The that. stinky carpool? Yeah. Five boys who have just played basketball for two hours. We yeah. call it the stinky carpool. <laughs> Ava has a dance performance tomorrow. She's only performing one of her four dances. She has four dances she's competing in this year. Yeah, I'm only going to do one, and then we're going to go to St. George and do all four of them. Well, mostly three, but I have a solo, too. Yeah, so she's got three group dances, one solo, and she has three different competitions. One of them being in St. George, which is really fun. This is my costume. It's a day of the day. Day of the dead. Yep. Living, like the living dead. Like the living dead's the name of the song. And oh, I just got to watch her dress rehearsal. And without lack of a better word, I'm dead. <laughs> it is so cute. So Saturday morning, Ashton had his very first indoor game. He's never played indoor soccer before. He left the game and he's like, mom, that is really different. It's a very, very different kind of game. Way more fast paced. Yeah, so his, his coach is excited to teach them indoor. He's excited about that. So he's getting back into soccer. And it was really fun because Grandma and Papa are here from Arizona. I kind of talked about this in the birthday vlog. They're here for a lot of reasons, but they got to be here for Ava's dance recital, which was so fun. So she had a really, a really great fan club there at her dance recital. And we had a really special day, Ashton and Landon, in our church when you turn 12, you receive the priesthood. They got to do that with everybody it cool. over. It was so awesome. The next day they got to pass the sacrament. They got to give talks in church. Kind of a really special weekend for them. Yeah, it was. It was a really fun weekend, actually. Boy, they stood up there and just gave these talks in church. Now, guys, I don't know how many of you guys like to public speak, whatever it is, whether it's church or at school or whatever it is. Speaking in front of crowds can be, you know, for some people, uh, scary. Aw, 
No thanks. These two just jumped up and a group of, I don't know, maybe a hundred people were listening to them and gave talks. It was awesome. I was so proud of them. And I just have to kind of mention this little thing, but as you can imagine, with cerebral palsy and some vision challenges, carrying those sacrament trays is not an easy task. Yeah. And I could not have been prouder of Landon. He just did such an amazing yeah, job. That's pretty cool. You know, it's and fun. it's just really crazy to see your kids grow up. I don't know how they're 12 and they're doing all these things. Just kind of a really cool weekend for Ashton and Landon. Really fun to have my family here. The whole fam was over for dinner on Sunday. Hey, we're ready. Competition. Matei and Ava. <laughs> It's easy for Penny. Yeah, let's see. That's Penny. easy for Penny. Oh. Wow, Penny, wonderful. Penny and Poppy. Yay. Yay. Happy Lashley. Landon and Ashton. Happy birthday to you. And, and congratulations on your special day. 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 Parents got to be here to give Ashton and Landon their birthday presents. So we're just having a great time. It's so fun having Papa and Grandma here. And I think the hardest part for me is that we're excited to go to Mexico, but I don't get to see them very often. So I'm kind of sad that, you well, know, we're we won't see be more here. Of them, right? Because Hoping. we have two more work-related trips. We don't know for sure if they're coming, but they might be coming again. And then they're for sure coming. Ava's being baptized later this year. So hopefully get them back up here a few more times. Hopefully when it's not freezing cold. It's 20 degrees in Utah right now. The coldest it's been all winter. They've been such Try good like sports. 10. In the degrees, morning. It's 10 morning. degrees. Yeah. You know what's really helping with that right now? This little beauty. I have never loved having a fire. I've never we're had a fire. Well, we still don't have the mantle in, as you guys could just tell. I mean, you can kind of, yeah, you can kind of see though, because it's not like installed, but you can kind of see what it's going to look like. It looks so pretty. Obviously the TV won't go there. We're getting a frame for up there. So when we get home from our trip, we are going to get window casings, window trimmings right here. We're going to get paint in the whole house. We're going to get the cupboards painted. We're going to get blinds. And then I think we can finally. Hopefully we'll be done late February is the goal. So you guys, we're going to video a little bit in Mexico. Hopefully Heck Ashton yeah. will get, he's usually our guy. There'll be 10 minute know? vlogs of me just sitting in a lawn chair. <laughs> cool. And really though, I, I hope that we can get some Papa Grandma fun that they're having here. They always have so much fun without us. More house vlogs to come. Thanks for hanging out with us. Guys, you're amazing. We'll see you in Mexico tomorrow.